Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video we're going to cover a topic that really has been understated for quite some time and I'm really interested in doing this video, especially now that it's being shot in 4K with my new Canon uh, M50. Uh, what we've got here is a typical white ceramic spindle connector. You can see that it's uh, it's definitely been worked on and I really want to point out what soldering should not look like. This was sent to me by a client and uh, this is definitely inappropriate for solder connections, especially when we're dealing with three phase, let alone basically any voltage. You can see here these connections and what they look like. You can also see, I'm going to open this up right now, got a very, very flexible piece of cable here being used. Let's see if I can cut into this. Here we go. Once again, no shielding. Okay? So this is basically useless, and of course the client knows it. Um, when he contacted me, he was aware of it, and he wanted to correct it, but this is simply not acceptable. And when I say not acceptable, some guys think I'm being picky. If this is what justifies your work as being able to solder, guys, I'm telling you now, you're waiting for, God forbid, something uh, with safety to occur. This is frightening. I mean, you can see your ground here is very, very close. It's not properly in the cup. You can see right here it's not fully inserted. Now, the other factor I want to discuss, and this keeps happening to me, and it's very sad that it keeps happening to me because, you know, I believe in the honor method when we talk. Um, I try to deal uh, with respect at all times when it comes to dealing with clients. Um, in this particular instance, I spoke to the client. Um, I was not aware, and this has happened to me numerous times, that I was going to get a connector that had already been previously worked on. Uh, when I give you a quote, the quote that I give you for my work is with the connector being unassembled. If it has work like this done, it's like buying a car with shoddy bodywork and trying to have it redone. I have to spend more time and labor to correct this issue. You yourself would expect to be paid and compensated for it. I as well. This is totally unacceptable and once again uh, this will have another part of the video, you'll see one half which is this, and I'm going to show you what it should look like when it's completed. Um, and again, just to cover time and tools in order to correct this, naturally each lead, you say there's only four leads, that's correct. You have to reheat each lead, remove all the excess solder. It appears here that flux was not used. You can see how the solder just pulled up, it was not actually leveled. When you use uh, flux, you'll notice that your connections are all leveled. Okay, and that's why we use flux on our connections to make sure everything is clean. The other thing I have to do is clean all of this. And why I clean that is so that, number one, the client will have a reference point, and that is the correct way to do things. We don't half-ass things, you know, especially with electronics, and in this case, a three-phase actual cable that's running your spindle, which is the heart of your system, or your system isn't cutting at all, um, regardless of motion, all of this needs to be cleaned. You can even see the inside of the terminal is filthy. All of this will have to be cleaned. All of that time, I have to be compensated for, just as you would be compensated at your job. So when I quote you on a cable, always remember I'm quoting you on just me doing the soldering work. That question comes up a lot. This is intricate, delicate work and when it's not done correctly, it'll cost you more money. So I'm telling you that so that you're well aware of what you're getting involved with with this type of equipment, okay? This right here could easily start a fire. It could easily cause all kinds of issues. I'm assuming it probably caused some noise issues because of course none of these leads were shielded. You can see the casing here, which explains why how flexible it is. Um, and again, we want to correct all this. So this part of the video I hope has been helpful of what not to do, and now I'm going to show you once again in the separate part, I'll connect the videos together and show you what it all completed. Thank you. Okay guys, this is the second half of the video, and now you can see with the soldering done on all leads, it done correctly. 
You can see the finish. You can see how smooth it is. Once again, I'm not using anything special. And actually, this is one of my favorite tools, believe it or not, is a toothpick. You can see how expensive those are. Um, this is Kester 186, and you can see the finished product of what you actually get. Now, you remember what this looked like before. Um, and I get a lot of questions on how do I clean the connector in between. When you're cleaning, what works really well, toothpick, non-marring, wood, bring your actual uh, Q-tip, just open up the fibers a little bit, go inside and you can clean in between. Is it tedious? Yes, it is. And that's why working with electronics is what it is. Um, but you can see, as far as a finished product, what you have. And again, the cable has not been butchered. You can see now what we have here. And cleaned. You can see here, underneath. That's a proper cable. This is ready now for final assembly. You can see you have no exposed fibers from the actual uh, shielding. That's all been removed and depressed inside the cable. Now, a lot of questions come with that. What do we use to do that? Well, you've got a choice. Here's a tool. Okay, this is used for soldering. It's just a simple pick and you just push them down in, in between once you use your flush cutters. If that's not available, and I know, one of, once again, toothpicks are your best friend. Once again, is it tedious? Hell yes, it's tedious. Um, but it works and you can see what you are left with. Okay, this cable set. If you find that your leads are too short, too long, you can go in and modify um, how you're actually soldering. And when I say modify, you would just pitch the cable whichever angle you need to get your, your actual leads to line up. But you can see this is dead nuts on. Let me see, just holding it in the light to give you guys the idea. And when you use proper solder, when I say proper solder, electrical solder, you can see that chrome-like finish. That's what we're looking for. Once again, proper solder, proper flux, Kester solder, Kester flux, both available in my store. Whether you buy it from me or not, that's what you want. And make sure, there's been a lot of um, talk lately online about guys receiving flux. I've actually gotten pictures um, from previous purchases where guys were worried about getting the real Kester 186. Kester is really dark. It's got a, a, a lot more rosin in it, I find, and you'll get that real, real brown. It's got a real brown color. You can see it right here. If you're getting uh, any flux that's really lightly tinted, odds are it's not the real thing. Kester is not cheap, and there's a reason it's not, because it produces this. So again, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I'm gonna finish this cable up now for the client. Um, I didn't charge this client, uh, for this work because I'm making a video of it. However, I want you guys to realize if I receive in connectors like that, that took me at least another 40 minutes between removing the four connectors that were on there, uh, the four conductors I should say, and then recleaning everything on top of labor, there's also parts. A lot of guys don't think about that, but you have to use the uh, solder removal braid, which I also include in my kits, and that's how you can get your finishes like this. You know, but of course it takes time, and of course it's going to take more componentry, and I have to charge for that. You know, I am a business. I'm feeding my family the way you're feeding yours. So, you know, if you contact me and you want me to do a cable that you've already worked on, just let me know that. Yeah, you're going to pay more for it, but at least we respect each other. Because if you send it to me, and in this instance I've done it, but I've done it before. If you send it to me and, and you didn't let me know, it's going back to you. I'll pay for the shipping back. I'll let you know why. And, you know, we need to be on a mutual level of respect. If I tell you something, my word is bond. If I break that, then I'm no better than the other vendors that have sold so many BS systems that are out there. When you pay for something from me, this is what you get. And I will not sell something unless it meets my criteria because this has to meet safety spec. And when I say safety spec, I don't know who or what you're running in your shop but I want to make sure that my client is safe, his family is safe, and the crew members, whoever they may be, everybody has to be safe. I can assure you this is done correctly. So again, I hope that this video has been helpful, enlightening. I hope now you guys have got some of the idea of what you're looking at when these should be done, because I've gotten a lot of questions on this. Um, if, again, you require you know any type of quote or have any questions, please message me direct at Storm2313. And, of course, it will be in the video as well. 
And I seriously suggest if you just purchase your cable, watch this again. You know, watch and look for what you want to do. Uh, the, the flux and solder used, if flux was used when this cable was built, I personally don't know if it was electrical type, but I can tell you that it was leaving a lot of uh, residue, and that's typically not electrical type flux. So again, you have to clean everything. You want to make sure everything is done properly. Uh, I love working with electronics mainly because everything's clean. You know, you're always cleaning. Everything should look immaculate, and that will produce this. So take your time. Many of you can easily achieve these, if not even better results. The main thing is, is that you take your time and you'll get exactly what you put into it. So thank you all for your support. Take care.